We've got a video for you today on You Know You Have Anxiety When. Woo! So, I've looked through Instagram and I've also, since she has social anxiety and I have generalized anxiety, thought that we could just get a nice little plane of things going. So, here we go. So you know you have anxiety when people like to tell you, hey, just do yoga, drink tea, I don't know, get with nature, and you'll feel better in no time. You know you have anxiety when you're like, you okay, when you're in school especially, and you forgot that you got homework that day, 30 minutes before the class starts. You know you have anxiety when you cringe at the phrase, don't worry. panicking about what to buy and then you forget it when you get home there's like one thing that you know you forgot and one thing that you're overlooking and you don't remember it till you guilty home. guilty and you don't remember it till you get home you know you have anxiety when you know at least one if not of all four of these following terms cbt ssri gad sad you know you have anxiety If I sound dumb or stupid, and it's just like the word here, but you still get anxious about it. You know, you have anxiety when you don't freak out about a big issue, like say you need to get your car fixed, but yet you will freak out about something that you said five years ago that sounds completely stupid to you, but at this point, nobody even remembers what the heck you said. to America, but you're like worried about when I sent in a text message. You have anxiety when you think you've sent the wrong thing on a text message, and now the person hates you, they want to disown you, probably burnt everything that you gave them. You can throw you another clip. state. You can throw you off clip. Yeah. All right, so now I have a few from a lovely Instagram follower, KMichelle619. Um, Anxiety with large crowds scare you. I think this can apply to both of us. Oh yeah, definitely. When people worry you, and when having to get ready makes you nervous, which definitely. Yes, like I know for me, I freak out about you know I need to make sure that my outfit looks good or that I think like I've had where I think people expect me to dress a certain way. If I don't dress this certain way, then they're not gonna be friends with me. Yeah. Or maybe they'll be like, oh, why are you dressing so differently today? I have one friend that I'm terrified to wear sweatpants around. Just because he joked about always seeing me in sweatpants and t-shirts even though he only has maybe once. When you start feeling nauseous at the thought of things. Well, personally, I don't get nauseous, but at the thought of things, my heart rate will go Well, I, can, I feel kind of nauseous like when we were doing the auditions the other day. Like I kept holding on to the paper and you're like, you know you can put that up, right? I was feeling nauseous then. You know you have anxiety when you start to feel nauseous at the sign of plans outside of your home. Uh, it also depends on what those plans are, personally. I mean, I guess maybe that seems more like social anxiety because, I mean, it's like you can to actually, like, go out into public with people and be social. I say generalized anxiety can also be that way sometimes. It's like, it just depends on what the plans are, really. Yeah. But to me, it also sounds a lot like agoraphobics. Oh, yeah. Since so they never want to leave their yeah. house or whatever. When you say that your anxiety has two faces and you're practically thinking anxiety has schizophrenia because one minute your anxiety is freaking out about Lord knows what, the next minute it's saying it's taking your self esteem and just breaking it, crumbling it up, putting it down on the ground, stomping on it, and setting it on fire. Oh, you know you have social anxiety when you're about to take a test. You know an answer's for it, you've studied for it like two days ahead, and your mind goes blank on the test. Put the pencil in your hand. You know you have anxiety. I don't know if this just pertains to generalized, but when you get overwhelmed and anxious and panicky over doing homework, like and studying for a test, like it may not even have anything to do with a test. You just like, oh, I have to rewrite notes. No, you're gonna get anxious about it, and then you won't do it. And then you get anxious over the fact that you're not doing homework, but you get anxious whenever you actually are doing homework, and it's just a never-ending cycle. You know you have anxiety when you're 
somebody win. I, I'm not sure if like a lot of them generalize it or not, but when you have to do presentations and like the teachers all have you like, oh, you get to do presentations. You have to stand up and talk in front of people. I hate that so much. It's just like, no, you do not want to. I was just shaking my chair. Just, you know. I know you have anxiety when it starts to affect your memory, especially your short term. And you can't remember things you have said five minutes ago, yet you can remember things you said five years ago. The crap brain, the crap. You know, you have social anxiety when it's like somebody like, come when it comes to dating, and someone like texts you a message like, oh, I like you, or oh, do you want to go out on a date? And you just kind of freeze. You know you have anxiety when choosing a place to eat that's it, choosing a place to eat. Whether you are one that throws the decision upon other people or are the one making the decision. Because you're like, what if the place, what if they don't like this place? What if it's too expensive? What if it's not expensive enough? I don't know. What if I want to go there but no one else wants to go there? Yeah. Or maybe like, maybe they'll think I'm a cheapskate because I want to eat at McDonald's and not a like Red Robin. You know you have anxiety when you have, like I said, it's Maybe mainly social anxiety, but it's kind of like when you get nervous about eating in front of people. It's kind of weird. It's just... I've not really had that issue, I don't think. Well, no, a little bit, in a way. You know you have anxiety, probably generalized, when you worry about what you are eating in front of other people. That if you eat certain things, you're gonna look like a fatty. Like instead of getting a salad, you ended up getting a meat lover's pizza pocket. And you worry that they're gonna think that you're a fatty for not eating as healthy, even if your friends you're eating with are also not as healthy. And I don't know if that's with social anxiety, but I know in generalized, you worry about what you're eating. Okay, you know you have anxiety when the day hasn't even started, and you're already thinking, oh crap, I'm gonna do something wrong, or something's gonna go wrong, or today's not gonna be my day. Yep, and you haven't even got out of bed yet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know you have anxiety, and specifically have been to a mental hospital at least once when you think that anything that you tell like your therapist, your psychologist, school counselor, whatever, will land you in a mental hospital again. I was put in when I was 14. That was only once, like seven years ago, but I'm still terrified of it now. You know you have anxiety when you easily jump at anything. She jumps at anything, it's just like... <laughs> Titans? <laughs> Trigger! <laughs> you know you have anxiety when and you think you're about to die for no apparent reason. I mean, you're just like, you're going along, you're sitting there at your desk, and all of a sudden you're like, oh crap, this is the end of my day. It's just like, oh well, it's not snowing everybody. You know you have anxiety when you're talking with somebody who does not have it, and they're talking about like, oh, I got so anxious about this, or yeah, you know, it's finals week, and I've already had like four mental breakdowns today. And it takes everything you have to just smile and be like, yeah, okay, and not shove them off a cliff. Okay, but true story, um, I was talking to some of my coworkers before our Christmas party, mm -hmm. and one of them was saying about like how she's already had like a mental breakdown. This is during finals week. And I and I casually mentioned, I was like, yeah, I've had like four this semester. And she looks at me and goes, four a day. Four a day. And I just look at her. I don't say anything to her. So I'm just like, you don't know anything. You want you want a real mental breakdown? Here, let me give you the experiences I've had that have led to some regrettable decisions. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's true, anybody can have a panic attack, but I don't think- And I, I mean, the rare occasional mental breakdown can happen too. Yeah, but it's not like every day. I, I think a lot of people don't know the severity of it. Like, they confuse like social anxiety with shyness, and a shy person cannot have social anxiety. I mean, Generalized anxiety is usually, um, sorry, I interrupted you. No, no, go ahead. I'm terrible. <laughs> um, and like with generalized anxiety, people just think you're an overthinker or a worry more yeah. because you think about and worry about anything and everything. Mm -hmm. So they're just like, oh, you just stop worrying. Anxiety when you're taking like a bunch of selfies or pictures and it's like, you're just like, I don't like this one. I don't like this one. You think you like that one, but as soon as you upload it, you're like, what is this creature? What, what have I like? It's just, you no. Know, you find one little thing wrong with Picture. You know you have anxiety when you're sitting in class. It's not even test day. You're just taking notes. And anxiety when 
anxiety is just like, and you're just like, stop it. What are you doing this for? Why are this? And then before you know, you're in a panic attack in the bathroom. Oh yeah, bonus. This isn't really, you know, you have anxiety when, but this is something that I've actually heard from my friend Eli. We were talking about misconceptions about each other's mental illness. And one of his is him thinking that when you have anxiety, you have to have a trigger for everything to cause an anxiety attack or a panic attack or whatever. I'm just like, no. Huh. It can just happen for no reason. It could be like, oh, the sun is shining, the birds are singing, panic! Yeah. I like panic attacks. Just like sitting in class and just all of a sudden it's just like, oh yeah. Yeah. Which, I mean, that can happen to anybody. So, not just people with these mental disorders, but anybody can get a panic attack every now and then. It's just when you get a lot of them when it's not very healthy. And it's like one thing that I find interesting is like how it's all like anxiety, but I didn't like realize like generalized anxiety and social anxiety could be so different. Like you think of anxiety, oh, it's all the same, but that's it's, all just worry. Yeah, I mean it overlaps in ways, but it's mm -hmm. very different in other ways too. So I yeah, thought that was pretty interesting. Because I mean, like we'll talk about our anxieties, and then of course yeah. talk with Remy, and like you guys have more worries about social things that I don't, mm -hmm. and yet I worry about everything under the sun, and I bet you guys are just like, Raven, why? Yeah. Just stop. No. Yeah. Like Walmart. Like shopping at freaking Walmart. Yeah, and see, me, it's just like, I, I don't care. I just toss stuff in the buggy, pay for it, and go. Me, no. The, but like, this one, it. this one right here doesn't even want to buy herself a little $2 present, and I'm like, you are not buying yourself like a $1,000 diamond necklace. Like, it's it's a little like surprise box or a, it was a bag it was a bag it had a plastic my little pony with a plastic bottle and it's two dollars two dollars eight quarters it just like if she's panicking like she's buying like Goodbye. i don't know like she's buying a whole diamond mine or something like really but, so. but my anxiety says i don't deserve good things yeah and then there's, oh, you're buying too much stuff. You're gonna be spending way too much money, but you need this stuff. But still, but you need this stuff. Well, I mean, we just pretty much covered it. You know, you have like anxiety when a person tells you to be happy or don't worry or don't be shy. It's okay, you can do it, I mean. So yeah, there's our video of, you know you have some kind of anxiety when. So thank you guys so much for watching and dealing with us. Yay. Yay. And let me know in the comments below, like, what kind of video you want to see next. Um, I know we're going to have a You Know You Have Depression with Ariel and Eli. And we want to try to do a You Know You Have ADD with Remy. But she doesn't know about that yet. No. And she's going to say that I forced her to do it, even though I didn't. Yeah. And, yeah. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Um, if you have anxiety and you're feeling like crap, I don't know. Deep breathing, go outside. Color. I'm gonna tell you all the cliche things to do. Oh, and find a friend to hang out with you. Friendship is good for anxiety. Friendship yeah. is magic. Friendship is magic. Oh god, that my little pony. <laughs> I should not have bought that my little pony. Oh god. <laughs> what did you start? <laughs>